So to get to Area 51, you have to go to Rachel, Nevada. And right when you get to Rachel, Nevada, drive 1.7 miles, and you're gonna take a right at this stop sign right here. This is the stop sign. And you're gonna take a right right onto this, uh, I guess, graveled road. And from here, I'm not exactly sure, but we gotta keep driving, and then I think the road is gonna turn to tar. Some kind of black, I don't know, that's what I'm hoping. And from there, we'll see where we go. Um, in Rachel, Nevada right here, there's a, um, a hotel you can stay in and stuff like that. That's really about it. So let's just hope everything goes good. We are going to Area 51. We are. We all are. Oh yeah. Now, I already heard stories about you can't be stupid, you can't cross the line or else you're gonna get charged with a felony with an M16 to your face. So we're gonna take it very seriously and we just wanna, you know, see it. I don't know, it's Area 51, why not? The gravel rocky road for the past like 15, 20 minutes and now we finally hit some tar. So I think this is definitely the right way and everything should be good. Oh damn it. I can't believe we're at the gate of Area 51. This is it. I'm gonna pull over. I just I feel so awkward if people are gonna just watch us here. The guards. Alright, we have to stop and pull over, otherwise we're gonna get shot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Let's pull over like right here. Let's not get shot or yeah, anything, we, but we'll right. pull over. Right I can't now. believe we're at the Area 51. Right Area 51. <laughs> We've been to so many crazy classified places that are like secretive, but like nothing this intense, you know? Yeah. Alright everyone, I can't believe. You know, a lot of people say go to Area 51, do this, do that, and here we are. We're here. Um, let's go read some of the signs and what they say. You know, we've been doing a lot of things like this for a long time, but nothing this intense. And it sucks because I would love to go past this, but I can't. But I mean, just look what it says right here. Warning, military installation. Off limits to unauthorized personnel. Dude, you don't mess with this. Yeah, look at this. A sign for no drones. Man, this is crazy. This is U.S. Air Force installation. Damn. I can't go anywhere past this, guys. Just to retake on everything, remember, go past Rachel, take a right 1.7 miles, go on the gravel dirt road, Eventually you're gonna come across this tar road and that's how you know you're here. You just keep going straight But I mean look at this look at me. We are literally in the middle of nowhere Make sure you always have a full tank of gas on you because at this point I have a little bit of gas left I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get out of here. I'm not sure yet, but we'll think about that later All right, If you can look way over there you see that white truck hidden in the back that's the dude. He's most likely probably inside one of these buildings just chilling. And obviously, obviously, we are being monitored highly right now. Like, we are being monitored by like 10 different cameras, I bet. And they're already listening to what we're saying. They're probably like laughing at us right now. Here's a cool fact. If you have the cell phone with company Verizon, you're going to have internet access here and service. That's the only one that has internet access or for service. But pretty much, it's like, why would I want to come here, right? Well, because like, the reason why I want to come here is because you can't actually go inside and it's secretive. So that makes me want to come here because I'm always curious. But Area 51 is like such a big conspiracy that no one actually even knows what's inside there or anything about it. Except that it is a US base, a uh, US Air Force base, and that's all we know. But there's so much rumors about like aliens, freaking, in like laser beam cannons, freaking all this crazy stuff that you wouldn't even think is here. But personally, a lot of people also think like all the UFOs and stuff and aliens are real but for me in my opinion I feel like all these UFOs that you see in the sky come from this base but it's not intentionally aliens it's just unidentified objects yes UFOs but in terms of it's just secret aircrafts that we don't know about that they built inside here and that's where all the aliens um, signs are coming from because I think I think there are aliens but I think they have the same kind of technologies that we have maybe a little bit better but you know, not enough where they can fly and teleport over to Earth, you know? I'm sure there's a lot of people out there in this world, in different planets, but none that are traveling here. So all the stuff that we see in the sky, these disks, are really from, you know, places like this. And now, this is still as close as I can get. Trust me, man, the way I am, I would love to just hop over this, but I know what's gonna happen to me. I'm not ready for an M16 to the face.
As far as we know, like every kind of every every information that you're gonna read on the internet about this is all not exactly real because no one exactly really knows. But I think it was um, if you look if you Google this place on Google Satellite, you can see actually what it looks like. But but within like three or four years ago, it was completely blacked out from the map for so long. And the U.S. government just released it recently, like maybe two years ago, stating stating yes, Area 51 is real, blah blah blah, like that. So, which is cool. Everyone already knew it was, you know, here anyway. There's no point, which is why they probably released it anyway. Um, so, there's a lot of people around here which, um, that looks to appear to be military, but they dress like they're not military, and they pretty much patrol here back and forth. They're always in white trucks. A lot of people call them camo dudes, you know, a bunch of, you know, they give them a bunch of weird nicknames and stuff. And there's also, um, at least, oh, by the way, um, some other stuff. At least once a week, someone dies from hitting cattle driving on these roads just to get here and also you're always you got to watch out for the rabbits because even driving I already hit like seven I could have almost hit seven rabbits it's ridiculous <laughs> it's ridiculous out here but it I, to me I want you know like I said I don't know why exactly why I want to come here I just wanted to see this this I just had to see it it's so secretive that I had to see it I'll never know what's inside personally I don't really care there's other things I got to do in the world just thought it was cool so 25 years ago there was a guy named Bob Lazar now Bob Lazar supposedly worked here and records show that he actually did work here and he talked about how he was working on a whole bunch of different like crazy like stuff pretty much he was working on a whole bunch of UFOs like different type of aircraft that are way ahead of its time our, our time you know 25 years ago but like I said no one knows if it's true and they also said that you know they talked about aliens and stuff there too who really knows though I don't know we're never gonna know Every place you all told me to do, I've been doing. Chernobyl, uh, this is as close as anybody in the world can get to Area 51 who's not classified. Um, Suicide Forest, Japan, other places in Japan now are Dreamland. Like, you guys keep naming me some spots, I'm gonna keep doing them. Um, like the Dolls in New Mexico, I really wanna go to Doll Island. We'll see what happens when I get back home from this road trip. Um, yeah, I mean, this video is really short, but that's all I, that's, this is all it really is. It's, it's the gate. I mean, you know, there's nothing else I can do, and I wanted to make a video on this regardless. So I do apologize on my behalf of this video being short. You guys just keep on watching it. Enjoy the show. There's going to be a whole bunch more still coming. More crazy stuff. Who knows? Who freaking knows? My life is so unpredictable. There's going to be, there's always going to be something good on my channel. So thank you guys for watching. Keep watching. Um, if you guys want to subscribe to my Twitter and Instagram, um, I would. You know, I have a lot of crazy nice pictures and uh, information on stuff that I do ahead of time on there. If you guys want to check it out, check me out. See you guys.